Hello Libra, welcome back to my channel. This is your intimate extended birthday bonus reading. So take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Time, energy, and gender are fluid, so we never force a reading to fit. If it is for you, you will know it. You will feel the tingly sensations of resonance. And if not, you can always check my channel and your other placements for messages you need to hear. Just remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and tap the notification bell so you can catch future readings for Libra. So luscious Libras, thank you so much for your love and support of the channel. Thank you for those of you who are subscribed. As you know, I'm a Libra sun and Venus myself. So Libra gang all the way. But um, also you guys, thank you for those of you who have made donations or who have sent me kind words and gifts for my birthday, purchased private readings, or just in any way shown support. I really appreciate you guys. Uh, and for those of you who are new to the channel, please be sure to drop down the description box so that you can connect with me outside of YouTube as well. All of my social media links are down there, including my website and payment app links for those of you wanting to book personal readings with me, which I am open for personal readings. Um, and I'm finally caught up actually, you guys, which is why it took me a little longer to get to these videos, but... <clears throat> I know there are some of you out there who probably want some guidance before eclipse season is in full swing. So again, please be sure to book that reading. And if you are sending payments for readings, be sure to send me a corresponding email or direct message letting me know who you are so that I can keep track of you and make sure you get your reading. So uh, anyways, y'all, this is an intimate extended reading where I'll be using the Casanova Tarot. So if you are under the age 18, please avert your virgin eyes and ears and look away, my child. We want you to click off and have a blessed day in the Lord as we do not want any tarot related traumas up in here. So if that is you, we will see you in the next one. But if you are here for the the juiciness, okay, is what I'm going to call it this time, the juiciness, we're going to get into it, okay? And we're going to put aside Halloween for a little bit because obviously this week has been... Um, or excuse me, this month has been very Halloween-y so far. <laughs> Halloween-y. Anyways, I'm going to be switching gears and getting back into the essence of Libra season. I know a lot of you out there have already um, met yourselves a Libra, whether male or female. And in the shadow aspect, Libra can sometimes be labeled as a Casanova, okay? Or a player or, or just, you know, someone who isn't as honest as they should be, right? And, you know, Casanova, if he was nothing else, he was a freak, all right? And Libras, I know deep down you are too. So that is why we are going to be using this deck in this reading. But we're going to start off with the Romance Angels. So like I said, take what applies and let the rest fly. What do we have for my lovely Libras today? Ooh, almost burning down the house, Libra. So we have It Is Safe For You To Love. So burning down the house could be actually relevant for some of you. Um, if you've been through through some situations before where where you have had to kind of burn those bridges or um, I think this kind of came up in the monthly reading so if this is resonating definitely comment below but maybe you've recently been through something like that where you had to set fire to something and burn it all down and now spirit is telling you the coast is clear okay it is safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all so for those of you who have ended something once and for all now spirit is telling you now you are are ready okay you are ready to receive the love that you are giving so remember what you give is what you get what you put out there is what you are going to receive back from the universe and in a lot of times it's about tenfold that you receive that energy so for some of you you may not be feeling as if it's safe you might be peeking out from under them covers wondering you know should I even venture out into the world at this point but spirits telling you it is safe and more importantly the first person the only person that's relevant is you right now, Libra, okay? You are the main character. This is your story. This is your life. Um, and it's okay to be selfish, okay? It's okay to put yourself first. It's okay to love yourself. So that's kind of a, a packed message. You might have gotten some things from that or for some of you, that entire thing may have resonated. 
Now we have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So this could be your soulmate calling to you from the other side, right? From the, the ethers and telling you it's time. It's time for you and I to connect. It's time for us to experience a true um, soul level love, okay? And so whether or not you've actually met this person yet, this is the message, Libra. By ending something that wasn't for you, now you can open the doors to someone who is, okay? So let's go ahead and get one more card from this deck. Pay attention to the red flags. So that's another thing about Libras, right? And I say about Libras like I'm talking about somebody else, but we all know I'm talking about me too. So Libras do tend to see life through those rose-colored glasses. And sometimes we're more interested in finding out our um, compatibility with someone or seeing them for the, the good and their potential that they possess instead of actually seeing the truth about someone, right? And and I have made this mistake many times in the past as well. Expecting the best from someone because that's the energy that you put out is not always going to be that case, right? And, and I say that earlier, like put the love out there and that's what you'll get in return. But we all know sometimes you don't. Sometimes you do put your love out there and you end up getting another karmic lesson. But that is exactly why Spirit's telling you to pay attention to these red flags. If there were red flags you've ignored in the past, Spirit's telling you you cannot be ignoring those here in the, in the future, in the now, okay? The signs are cautioning you. Um, and on the upside of this card, I always like to say this could just simply be Spirit sort of... Um, <clears throat> Tap, tap, tapping you from the other side and telling you, hey, 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 we're sending you these signs. We're sending you and pointing you in the direction of where you needed to go. So either way, whether this is a positive or negative thing in your personal situation, Spirit's telling you to keep your eyes open and stay connected to divine messages coming through from your guides, from your angels, from your ancestors, from the universe. Um, and just kidding, one more card for Libra. So we have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So, so again, regardless of the word engagement, right? Because a lot of you are probably thinking, you know, you about to get that rock. But I think of engaging, like engaging with someone. Okay, so again, going back to what I said before, if you are now open like spirit is telling you to be, telling you it's safe to come out of those covers. It's safe to come out of the dark. This is spirit again reminding you that the next connection is going to be an ascended version of what you're used to. So if you meet someone new, Libra, and I do feel like this is for those of you who are open to finding your soulmate that have been trying to call this person in, spirit's just reminding you that you're about to step into a new phase in your life where you've learned a lot of lessons, you've had a lot of experiences, you know what to look for, you know what the warning signs are. So now you're getting ready to graduate and elevate yourself to that higher level of commitment, of love, okay, and authenticity. Now, bottom of the deck, we have let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. So again, if you're trying to call in your soulmate, if you're trying to find that person and make that connection, Spirit's saying don't worry about how it's going to happen or when it's going to happen. Focus on loving yourself, like I said earlier, and that door will become open and available to you. Um, and and when that door opens, Libra, we now have this card. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So for some of you, this is someone from the past, but I don't really feel that for the majority of you. I think when you meet this soulmate, when this person pops up into your life, you're going to be like, wow, what the hell was I doing in the past? Why did I think all of those other things were love? Why did I feel like all of these other connections were going to somehow go somewhere? But that's the answer in itself right Libra all of those other connections were just stepping stones to get you to where you needed to go okay so not trying to say you'd be stepping on little people on your way up to the top or anything <laughs> but hopefully you get what I'm trying to say okay so let's move into the tarot and see what spirit wants you to know in regards to this energy I'm gonna say okay because I feel like regardless of 
the time or when I post this video, Libra. Some of you may see this video not in Libra season at all. So what do we have for the remainder of this message for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please? Hmm. So we have the Sun, okay? So more confirmation right there for you. Spirit is saying yes, okay? Yes! Like an herbal essence commercial. That is going to be what this new soulmate is like. It's going to be a happy and prosperous time in your life, okay? This card also represents divine masculine, which I think is so funny because the card underneath the deck is the king of pentacles. So for some of you, Libra, this could be daddy coming up on the scene. Some of you, and I'm hearing some of you, this is a past person. Some of you, this could be a past life relationship. Oh, I just looked at the microwave. It's 222. Two, two. Okay, so this person is reaching out right now to let you know that they love you, Libra. Okay, um, for some of you, this could, again, be a new person or the person that you've been manifesting. Someone who is stable and secure and kind. Someone who is going to show up for you, Libra. Okay, and not that you need taking care of, but this person is going to take care of you. This is a strong masculine energy that's coming through the reading right now. So again, whether you're male or female, that doesn't matter, okay? Whatever you identify as um, gender-wise, it's irrelevant. This is a strong energy coming in that is a protective energy vibe that I'm feeling, okay? Someone who is secure not only with their finances, but secure in themselves. Someone ready to step up to the plate and be a good husband, be a good father, okay? And again, for some of you, this could be a mother or a, a wife, but... But again, the sun and the king of pentacles coming out back to back, it's like, okay, we get it, spirit. We know this is going to be the the most positive connection that you've probably ever experienced. So let's see what this King of Pentacles or this masculine energy is going to be coming in with. So now we have the, the Knight of Cups, right? Talking about Casanova, that Romeo energy. So this person has a lot of emotion for you and now it's 2222 two, two, two on the microwave. So... A lot of love, right? A lot of emotion, a lot of romantic feelings that this person is going to be sharing with you. They're going to be showing up with their heart on their sleeve. Someone who might spout some sonnets, okay? But someone who is capable of, of love. Now, the Knight of Cups is on their way. And I say that because they're not quite a king yet. So emotionally speaking, this person is going to be sharing how they feel, okay? But on the inside, there's a fear within them still, okay? They might be afraid because they've had some issues in the past. This beginning message that we saw from the romance angels could be connected to this person as well. If they've dealt with situations where they've shared their love and not gotten any in return, or if they've had people be fickle with them in the past, showing them love and then ghosting the next minute, this could be something that they're still healing from and something that they're going to be um, possibly projecting, okay? So again, watch out for those red flags. Just because someone has a red flag doesn't necessarily mean that it's a, that, that it's a game changer or it's end game for that person. Sometimes those red flags pop up to remind us what we have already healed. So again, take this how it applies to your situation. What else do we need to see here? So now we have the judgment card. So Casanova over here judging that booty from behind the scenes, right? So judgment is spirit's intervention, okay? It's like spirit coming down and parting the clouds for a second and, and breaking that third wall and saying, hey, psst, hey, you, you need to get back on the path where you're supposed to be, okay? This is ain't, this, this ain't no sideshow. This ain't no, you know, after school special. You need to get back on the right track. It's a resurrection from the past. So this past theme keeps kind of popping up again. 
So for those of you who resonate with that, with someone coming back around from your past, um, Mercury retrograde is over, okay? So whoever this person is, I do feel that they have done a lot of of learning. They've probably dealt with spirit in a sense and gone through some karma or, or some lessons, but they're being reminded right now it's time to make a decision. And, and this could also be for you as well. You might be faced with a decision about this person, kind of weighing your own internal scales to see, okay, is this person for real or is this person just coming back around to cause havoc in my life once again? So judgment very um, heavy sort of a vibe but when I see the judgment card and and talk about things coming around from the past I feel like in a sense it's sort of um, it's divinely guided right it's not just it's not just something coming back up to test you for the most part it's oh it's the Emperor you guys so look, we have the emperor now, not just the king of pentacles. So this person has learned lessons. They have faced judgment day in their lives and they have realized that maybe their fickle behavior or their Romeo-ness, their energy of coming in and coming out or, or maybe misleading you, making you feel all of these feelings and then disappearing, you know, none of that was okay. And they understand that now. That's why they're showing up as the emperor, someone who is listening listening to their higher self, someone who is in control of, of their life, of their emotions, and who takes action from that place of security, okay? Uh, divine masculine. And then we have the two of swords. So going back to what I said about the, the feeling of indecision, Libra, this is something that is uh, your element, right? The swords represent Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, air energy, the energy of the mind, communication. So more of this, um, more of the same energy, right? From the judgment card. Let's go back. More of the same energy. We've got this person who is observing as she pulls down her pants, okay? And shows her booty. Same thing over here. Except now, the difference is Casanova is standing. He's assisting. He's helping her undress, okay? He's not just watching her. So, even though the traditional meaning of the two of swords is indecision or, or hiding or ghosting or, you know, just not knowing what to say, hiding from oneself. I feel the image in this card is saying this person knows that they've allowed their judgment to be clouded in the past. They know that not speaking and not communicating or not making a choice has affected the relationship and now they need to come in with the assist, Libra. So this person is not just wanting to watch you do your thing. They want to help you, okay? They want to support you um, because maybe, Libra, you're the one that's indecisive now that, that they came in and, and went with that with that knight of cubs energy so next up is the ace of pentacles so clearly this person isn't just coming in to assist they're coming in with commitment okay so this person could be coming to propose okay coming to to let you know that they are ready to invest in the relationship that they're ready to invest in you the ace of pentacles is the biggest opportunity arriving at your door and this person is bringing it okay that is why we had the king of pentacles first so very interesting let's talk about this person's ability to oh wait a second So first of all, hold on, before we move on with that, we have the Six of Cups, which is just another reminder going back into the past. So I'm tr I am try not to do that because, you know, I understand not everyone is looking to connect with someone that they've already connected with. I'm definitely not, right? I, the last thing I want to do is let someone come back into my life who's already hurt me or who's already embarrassed me or made me feel, um, you know, less of myself. And this person can't help but thinking of the memories that you guys had in the past, all right? Th that's where this story is going. So forgive me for those of you who are hoping this might be someone new. Again, for some of you, this may be, this could be a past life relationship, 
okay? But I'm seeing someone who is regretting the past. I'm seeing someone who is thinking about the times they've spent with you, Libra, and they're they're upset with themselves for not handling things better. They're upset with themselves for not being truly honest about their feelings, about how much you mean to them, okay? Not just about how they feel about you, but what you actually mean to them. They're starting to get it now, okay, Libra? And maybe the Mercury retrograde we just dealt with sort of helped with that. And as you know, moving into eclipse season, we're gonna be seeing faded events and things lining up for our highest good, okay? So this person is feeling nostalgic. They're looking back at the past with you, Libra, and they are, they're upset with themselves. Like I said, they don't like the way that they handled things. They don't like the way that they treated you, the way that they made you feel. Um, because you didn't deserve that Libra. You were nothing but kind to this person and you were nothing but your beautiful magnanimous self, okay? And this person sort of took that for granted is what I'm hearing, okay? Now, we also have the... We have the King of Swords and it is in the reverse. So again, this person may have not been very honest about their intentions with you in the past. Um, and you know, maybe they had certain intentions, but they just weren't truthful with you about it. Um, depends on your situation, obviously. But again, this person is acknowledging that their dishonesty was not very king-like. It was not very... Um, emperor like it wasn't very divine of them to come into your life and cause confusion and make you feel again like you were not worthy of them okay i think this person definitely understands now that they were the problem okay um so let's talk about this person's ability to take action what actions are they going to take obviously we saw the ace of pentacles the king of pentacles so this is this is sort of the vibe they're wanting to come in and invest now libra and why would they invest because of the empress okay the empress is the divine counterpart to the, the emperor and also the energy of your sign libra okay nurturing creative queen of all queens all right, she's sitting here letting them titties in that bush air out because she's like, I do not have any shame. I know that the lessons I've learned and everything I've been through are what have allowed me to show up as my authentic self, whether you like it or not, okay? Th this empress ain't given no Fs. I just had deja vu, Libra. This empress ain't given no Fs. She's letting all the world see because why not, right? Why wouldn't? the empress shine. And that could be the reason in itself. This person thought maybe it was over between the two of you, but judgment came in to remind them, no, it ain't. Okay. It was never over. And now I'm thinking of the notebook. This person was always the counterpart to you, Libra. They just weren't showing up as their highest self. Okay. Now they know who they're dealing with. Now they know what they need to do and how they need to show up for you in the future. Okay. So, so yeah, I do feel as if they're going to take action towards you, okay? They're going to show you that they're committed, that they're invested. Let's talk about their truest desire here. What is their ultimate desire with Libra? The Five of Swords. So this person really wants to clear the air, okay? Um, I have a feeling this is not them wanting to come in and cause any more confusion. This is not them trying to win or or show up as some sort of haughty, like, haha, -ha, like, whatever. No, this is not any of that. You can see here we have the Empress now lying in bed with her back to Casanova, and he's trying to entice her, okay? He's sliding his hand up and down her thigh, and she's got her eyes closed like, not today, Jesus, right? So this person knows that they they put a bad taste in your mouth, Libra. They know that, they're aware of it, and now they need to do what they need to do to communicate the truth, okay? They have to clear this up with you. They have to set the record straight, and they have to get you back in their good graces because without you, this person, um, they, they're not going to have their empress, okay? They're never going to have their divine counterpart. What's the challenge? 
So the challenge is the three of pentacles in the reverse. So there may have been a third party situation in the past, Libra. As you can see, we've got two ladies here with their titties out and the emperor right here in the middle is like, hmm, he looks pretty satisfied with himself, right? So you could be dealing with someone who was already in a committed connection and who was building a foundation with that person while also on the side trying to build a foundation with you. And that ain't it, okay? That ain't it. And, and for those of you empresses out there who are resonating with this reading, that is the very reason why you turned your back on this person, because that is not a stable foundation and you know it, okay? This person was not trying to collaborate with you and build something with you. They were not trying to have something steady and stable. They were just looking for that side piece, okay? And that's messed up, all right? This person is aware now. Their challenge is that they need to now show what it is they're investing in. And they need to prove to you that there's no other side things going on. This person may have had to end a third party relationship and, and could still have to at this point, considering as this is the challenge. So this person is no longer building two separate foundations. They're only focused on the one the one with their Libra, the one with their Empress, okay? So bottom of the deck, we have the two of coins and you can't even get more literal than that, okay? So now, regardless of everything going on in the background here, it looks like we're at an orgy party. The only person that this Emperor is focused on now is the Empress, okay? Getting all in them skirts, all right? So... Clearly, the Two of Pentacles is now trying to gain stability, right? I always think of the individual walking on a tightrope, balancing themselves. So this person is going through some difficult changes right now that might be very uncomfortable. And for, for some of you, if they are needing to end a long-term relationship or a committed partnership with someone else, this person may not even have two coins to rub together, okay? So this is the recent past energy that's coming up, which kind of um, propels this person into the storyline. Okay, they know now that they have to build this foundation on their own before they can come anywhere near you, Libra. Okay, um, and as I say that, look at what else is here: the Five of Pentacles, talking about and talking about ending a long-term committed connection. This person is now dealing with poverty, dealing with not having anything, feeling left out, feeling abandoned. It's like this person is getting a taste of their own medicine, Libra. They thought they could abandon you. They thought they could forget about you, that they could just move on, tra-la-la. Well, this person is feeling the heat from that, okay? They set themselves up for this energy. So they could have recently gotten a divorce or again, gone through some financial hardship and struggle or dealt with a situation that made them feel the way they made you feel Okay, and now they're starting to understand. Okay, they're understanding that they were blindfolded the whole time, that they weren't seeing who their true person was, who their true empress was. Okay, they could have been very confused from other situations. One thing they're not confused about, though, Libra, is this Ace of Wands. Okay, this person knows that they are wildly attracted to you. Okay, majorly turned on. This is my penis card, y'all know. Okay. So we got this erect wand in the middle of the river here. So again, this person doesn't only feel intense passion and chemistry with you, but they also feel that emotion, like I said before. Their emotions are starting to carry that passion down the river and sort of making ends meet in their mind. All right, They know this is an opportunity for a passionate new beginning that they need to grasp. Okay, They need to, not you, Libra. Okay, so let's move into some clarification about this person's external situation. What do we need to see from the Gypsy Oracle? Okay, so we have child in the reverse. So this could be a couple of different things. You know, maybe this person doesn't have any children. Uh, maybe that's something they want. Maybe the other connection that they were in, that was sort of a dead end. They weren't having children. There was no... Um, there was no family love in that situation, maybe, for some of you. Um, this could also be saying that this person is done acting childish. Okay, maybe they realize that they were very childish in the past, and they know now that that's not how to treat... <laughs> it's not how to treat 
uh, a wife, right? We have the wife card. So yeah, again, this could be confirmation for what I said before. Maybe they were married or they are, they have a wife. Um, and again, there could be no children. Um, or this could be your person understanding that their childish behavior is not how you show up. Okay, that's not how you treat somebody. That's not how you treat the empress, right? So um, interesting, we have the enemy card here. So wife and enemy together, this could represent a karmic partner or karmic people in your person's life who have sort of um, been working behind the scenes to throw a wrench in their plans, is what I'm hearing. Um, what else do we have here? This person had to deal with enemies. Oh, we've got a lot. We also have doctor. Okay, so this person could also be going through some health issues that a lot of times can make us wake up and see the light, right? When we're dealing with health issues and we sort of have that flash of mortality, again, the judgment card coming in. Hey there, psst, what you doing? Okay, reminding you of where you need to go, what you need to do, um, and, and of the fact that life is not life on this earth is not forever okay and sometimes that that little glimpse of your own mortality can get you to kind of kick things in gear and set you back on the right course now we have lover okay so from from someone acting childish to now showing up as a lover playing this um playing this guitar sitar whatever it is called i'm like i can hear the word in the back of my mind but i'm not able to formulate the word i don't know what this is called Anyways, if anyone knows what this specific instrument is called, let me know. Um, but then we have joyfulness, okay? So again, this person recognizes who it is that brings them joy. They recognize um, what makes them happy in life, and that is sharing their love. That is being with someone that they love, that loves them. So this person is looking for a reunion, okay? They're looking to celebrate love. They're looking to be happy. They're looking to have good times in life, not spend any more time with enemies or people who would um, not want to have a family with them okay so now we have the scholar card at the bottom of the deck which to me represents Scorpio someone or excuse me not Scorpio Virgo um, although some of you Scorpio may, may be a relevant placement but when I see scholar, I think of Virgo, someone going within and that hermit energy, um, someone really doing the work, learning about themselves, learning about life, going through enlightenment, um, gaining wisdom in their situation. Let's get one more card for this reading on, actually there's two. So now we have sorrow and consolation. So this person has been through a lot. They're experiencing sadness, sorrow, and all they're looking for from spirit now is consolation that they're on the right path. They're looking to, um, they're looking for signs. Okay. They're looking for guidance. And this does sort of remind me of a mixture of the judgment and the lover's card. This person is looking up at the sky, praying to the angel angels asking for the answers on how to move forward and possibly still being hopeful. You know what? There's also a ship in the background. There's also a ship in the background here, which tells me this person could be waiting for their ships to come in in a certain situation. Um, sorry if you heard my son. Hi, mommy. <laughs> um, so anyways, y'all, consolation. I'm thinking consolation prize too for some of you. So yeah, maybe this person realizes that their karmic partnership that they were in was just a consolation prize for not having their empress. And maybe that's why they took that path to begin with. Maybe they thought, okay, I should invest in this because I'm already in it. Um, but now they're like, no, nothing can console their heart. Nothing can cause them to be joyful except for their empress, okay? So let's get into this other deck here. I'm gonna be shuffling from three decks. We're gonna start off with the teal. Then we're gonna move on to the ruby. And then we're moving on to the amethyst deck, okay? So this is a three-part deck. It's called the Love and Relationships Reminder. And this is going to be how your person is going to be making moves moving forward, okay? So we have the energy of romance. So it says, 
The fires of romance can be fueled by following this golden rule. Appreciate your man each day. Respect your woman, come what may. Show it with dramatic flair. True romance is in the air. So very interesting. We have the Knight of Cups. We also had the, um, the Lover card. Okay, so what is the action? What is the action for this person, Libra? Oh, we have worries about, okay. Oh, I did this backwards, you guys. <laughs> Sorry, the, the Amethyst deck is actually the person. And the, the teal is actually, or the turquoise, I should say, is the third card. So let's get the energy. The warrior. Oh, I love it. Okay, so Libra, this person is going to be showing up as a warrior, okay? And they're worried about romance. So let's talk about this down here first. It says, you'll suffer when words criticize. Your love, they'll surely paralyze. Hostile acts disguised as love are hawks pretending to be doves. Worry is not good for health. The stress won't let you be yourself. So this person could very well be worried about that karmic partner, right? Or about their enemies disguising themselves as doves, but really watching them like a hawk. So for some of you, again, the third party energy is popping up. This person could want to make moves towards you, but there are still people that are watching them, that are stalking them, and that are basically going back and reporting to these karmic energies, okay? Now let's read the warrior. True love requires bravery. Without it, love is slavery. Fulfill your needs. Speak honestly. Direct and forceful you must be. Challenge life with open arms. Fear not losing love's sweet charms. So remember, you guys, love is not something that can be lost. Okay? Love is. So the warrior energy reminds me of the nine of wands. Um, the wounded warrior. This person... <laughs> This person might have a lot of worries, okay? And, you know, I'm not trying to get you to pity this person because I don't have any pity for them. They set themselves up. They went through their lessons. It's everyone's karma and things they have to deal with. And that's this person's, okay? So let's read the sentence. You will have to deal quickly and decisively with challenging people and situations. Force yourself to avoid anxious thinking based on fear of error, criticism must be used only constructively and to patiently show you accept your love interest as is. Invest the time and effort to do so. Okay, so this is a message from your person, Libra. This person is wanting to fight for you. They're wanting to prove their love to you. And they're wanting to show you that no karmic energy is ever going to be able to stand in the way of them caring about you, of them knowing who you are to them, okay? So expect this person to show up and fight for you, Libra. You might not have thought that they would, but that is what the energy is saying, okay? So let's get some messages from this person. What do they want to say to Libra? I know what I'm doing right now won't me won't make me happy. Okay, so more acknowledgement. This person knows the situation that they're in or that they were in is not it for them either. Okay, maybe like I said, they continued investing because they already had one foot in the door and it was too late at that point to just kind of pull out. Um, but they know that they're not satisfied without you, Libra. They know they're not happy. I have not forgotten you. Oh my gosh. So again, this is speaking of someone from the past. Okay. This person has thought about you consistently, regardless of what's going on in the physical. Oh, we have, I'm sorry. So this person definitely knows they need to apologize for how they behaved. And we have, I'm too scared to come forward right now. So, you know, Again, all of this energy could be what they're dealing with behind the scenes. Obviously, the way energy works, it, it shows up kind of in a delayed response is how I see it, okay? So what's going on internally with this person is everything we saw, um, but you may not be getting physical communication from this person right away or as soon as you may have thought, okay? They're very scared and I don't think they're scared of you, Libra. I don't think they're scared of, of love. I don't think they're scared of having a life of happiness and of joy. I think what they're scared of is these karmic people that are watching them, okay? 
I still feel your energy. Yeah, so Libra, your light, your energy is what radiates in this person's life, okay? What else do we need to see for Libras? I'm constantly reminded of you. So going back to that Six of Cups card that we saw, you know, you are always on their mind, Libra, okay? Always. You're always coming up as a reminder to them. They're always seeing things, signs, symbols, synchronicities. Um, it's just impossible for them to ignore. Libra, you're playing on a loop in their mind, Okay, memories of you are constantly there at the forefront. And, you know, again, it's like I said earlier, they can't deny it anymore. They may have tried to, but it's impossible for them to do that now. They know what they need to fight for. And I think the fight is what scares them a little bit. Yeah, you trigger the hell out of me. So, you know, thinking about, again, possible synchronicities and things that pop up for them, this could cause them to kind of fall into those waves of sadness and sorrow that we saw earlier, the missing you, the feeling like they could have done things differently, the wishing things were different, okay? This person is haunted by you. One more shuffle for my lovely Libras. Oh, I'm confused about how I feel right now. So again, going back to that whole Knight of Cups thing, I don't think they're confused about how they feel about you. Like I said, they know who you are to them. I think they're just confused about, again, their karmic situation and everything that's going on behind the scenes. So Libra, give this person some patience. I'm sure you've already been doing that. Give them some space and allow them to show up in their own time. I pretend to be more confident than I am and I still fantasize about you. So... Libra, this person, again, they think about you all the time. They have not forgotten you. Um, and maybe you might feel like they have, but they, they couldn't, okay? They couldn't even if they tried, all right? So hopefully this reading resonated with someone out there. Um, I know that it sort of did for me as well. So so yeah, definitely comment below, share with another Libra, um, like the video. If you don't feel comfortable sharing your personal situation, obviously here on the channel, you can always email me or reach out to me in uh, on social media. But other than that, Libra, I hope that you you enjoyed your birthday season. I hope that you are prepared for eclipse season because you're about to get slingshotted into your destiny, okay? I love you guys and I will see you again real soon. Bye!